I think of Teams as a little bit like Outlook meets WhatsApp, which is a place where you can do a lot of email stuff, but you can also do it with the casual nature of chat stuff. Effectively, people see emailing as too heavy a solution, and sometimes using WhatsApp messages can be too light a solution. So we're gonna look at, in this video, how you can use Teams to get your favorite Outlook stuff but also how you can share stuff from Outlook to Teams. And I guarantee you, even if you're a regular Teams user, there will be some chat and post stuff that I bet you didn't know. So stick around for those tips in this video. My name is David Benayim and I have loads of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, Zoom, Google Sheets, Power BI. So check out the rest of the stuff on my channel if you like it. So as you all know very well in Outlook or in email in general, if you try and send something without a subject, it will notify you. And although you can send anyway, it's not encouraged, it's bad practice. So in Teams, you can actually add a subject as well. If you are in a channel, you can start a new conversation and click on the format button, and then you get the option to add a subject. Type that in there, and then your main body in here. And when you press send, it just looks much better and it looks like you have this two level of hierarchy thing. You actually have three levels of hierarchy if you want. If you go there and you choose this again, you can choose instead of a new conversation, you can choose an announcement and then you have the headline. So no way. And then subheading is here you go. And then finally, here is your long message that you can type out. Uh, you can change the background here, maybe have an image if you want to, or just change the color to something like that. And then when you just send it, it will do it in the three levels like this as well. Another thing in here is the ability to uh, change who can reply and who can't. That's not really an Outlook equivalent, but post in multiple channels can be good. So you can post to multiple things. It's kind of like posting to lots of distribution lists. So here I can post to this one and I can just select channels and post to some other things. For example, this one, press update, and then it will post to all of those things. You can leave the subject optional because that's not something you want to do every time. So then just do this and send it here. Um, press send like that and it will post in multiple channels. Now the default is you can at mention a person by name, you can at mention the name of a channel in the current team, and you can at mention the entire team. And anyone who has permissions to any of these things, all of these things will get a notification. But you can also customize and create kind of like a distribution list with something called tags. So if you navigate to the team itself, this is done at the team level, go to manage tags, and then here you can create a tag. So I can say, for example, this is going to be called the data guys tab, and it's going to be Joe and myself like this. And I can press create. And then you can do at data guys. And then everyone who is a part of data guys will be mentioned. People enjoy the ability to be able to flag things to come back to it later in Outlook. And in Teams, you have an equivalent, which is to save a message. And let's say, for example, that I have a message that I want to save for later. I can click here and choose save this message. And then it pops up here, saved. And if I click on my name and I choose save messages, then I can see all of my messages. Notice that when I do it from a Teams channel, it only takes that message and I have the reply it actually feels and looks a lot like how it would be if it was in the chat window. You can also save things from the chat window in the same way. Another thing that you can do is you can pin post. So if you pin post, it has this icon and you can access it by clicking on this and then going to the bottom and you see pin post. The way you do it is you just go to any post and you choose the three dots and choose to pin and then it will save this message and it appears in that same place. Now, pinning uh, does have a few different definitions. For example, you can also pin a channel, like these are my pin channels, essentially my favorites, and I can click on here and choose to pin, and then it jumps up here, 
uh, equivalent to here, I can unpin. You can also hide anything that you don't want to appear here. But what's different with this pinning is that these channels do not appear pinned for anyone else, just for you. The other thing that's coming is the ability to be able to right click and choose to create a task from a message, but it's not currently there right now. Of course, in Outlook, you have a tasks pane, which anything that's flagged can go into that. In Teams, you can add an app, like go here and you can choose tasks. I already have one, so I'm not going to add it. But if I go to this one, the tasks app in Teams is a mix of planner and to do. To do is something that essentially syncs with this, which is in Outlook. So if I add in a task here, we'll see it pop up over there. One key difference, though, is that flagged emails don't at the moment appear on Teams, which is a little bit annoying because I love using those. There you go. Now it's added there. And if I even mark this as complete, then eventually it will come off this list. So personally, I prefer the Outlook tasks. I think I'm more used to it. I like the categories, but in Teams, you have more functionality, like you can do stuff with filter and active. You can also go to planned and this is a combination of something that's in your to-do and your planner, which is nice. So if you lose Microsoft Planner, then you can have these lists and create certain things from these plans. You can also add in a new list or a plan here, and that can feature um, there. And if it's in to-do, that is tasks, then that will sync to your Outlook as well, the other way around. Back to basics. So here I have Outlook on the left and Teams on the right, and there is this navigation that you can see here, and Outlook similarly has this navigation. Um, my opinion is that Teams is just kind of a modern take on what Outlook was doing before. So previously in Outlook, you would use it as a jumping off spot. So you would have your contact details here, you would have your calendar here, but then in order to actually call those people, chat with those people, email those people, meet with those people, you had to jump off and do that elsewhere. Whereas Teams, your chat, I consider that kind of like a contacts thing, and they are all here. So you can chat with them directly, you can call them, you can do videos, and you have activities, this is kind of like notifications, and then your calendar is pretty similar to what you see on Teams, but you can actually meet from here, so you can meet now or launch a new meeting. And in fact, looking at some of the uh, features that overlap, in Outlook now, you actually have the ability to launch a Meet Now from here. And also, when you create a new meeting, the default setting is that it will automatically make that a Teams meeting like this. If you don't want that to happen, you can go to Settings and Don't Host Online. You can go to File, Options, and then you can go to Calendar, and you can just untick Add Online Meeting to All Meetings, uh, like that, and then it won't happen by default. Me now, so if you click on that, either through Outlook or Teams, it will launch Microsoft Teams, this screen. You can give it a name. You can choose whether your microphone, settings, your camera, etc., etc. Join now. You get this pop-up screen. You can either copy the meeting link or add participants or even via email, which is quite cool. So I'm going to leave it. All your meeting functionalities are here. I have another video where I go through a lot more detail on the meeting stuff. Just released. If you go to apps, you can search for calendar, and then you can get the channel calendar. You can add it to a team. So for example, I'm going to add this to feature test. Uh, depends which channel you want to do it. Over there, set up a tab. And then if I go to, let's call it calendar. I can then go to the general channel and I can see the calendar in here. So I tend to think of the team section here a little bit like the emails, what happens with the folders. And you have your folders and however many there are unread in that, and it can get quite overwhelming. I personally don't really use folders very much. Um, I find them a little bit difficult to handle. However, I love these Teams arrangements and what they do, which is quite nice, is they will just show you in bold what you haven't yet gone through. So if it's something that is not that important to you, they won't really bring it up and you won't don't get in those arrangements where it's like, Everyone's saying, okay, thanks to the email, and that gets sent to loads of people. So these are the teams, and underneath it's called channels, and certain people have access to them. I have another video about access and things like that that I'll link to, but for now, let's just go into uh, what's going on here. So you can click on one of these, and 
you have the post tab that's mainly what i'll talk about you can start a new conversation here and then start another one and instead you can reply each one in line as you need to let's say you have a team's message that you just want to send to outlook for example this one so i can click on these three dots and i can do share to outlook and i get this that pops up so let me just uh, put it there, but I can do all sorts of things. I can even attach some things with it. And in this one, I've got the entire thread, including a GIF and also a PowerPoint file attachment. So let's see what happens to it when I get it. Send or send later. And then I have it here. So I can show you what it is. It's got the subject and everything else. The team's outline very prominently there. The GIF has worked, the forms have not worked, and the attachment has not worked. So let's say that I want to send this email and forward it with an attachment to a certain channel. So you can navigate to Teams and you can choose the three dots and you can actually choose Get Email Address for the channel. So you can copy the email address there. And then from here, I'm going to forward it. And I'm going to forward it, paste, press send and then we'll see it pop up here so this is the email from with all of the things <laughs> notice it doesn't change the dark theme that well for my signature but it does lower down here and it's even got the attachment so the attachment is sent and it is stored directly in the SharePoint site that's associated with this channel yet another way that you can share is you can actually drag any email into the files tab Every channel is automatically created with a files tab that uploads to SharePoint. And then it will upload it here. And you could see it. If there's any embedded images, it will show them there like that. Um, it doesn't do it directly with an attachment. But what you can do is you can just drag the attachment as well like that. There we go. So if I open up this attachment, uh, what's interesting here is yet another way that's coming soon is the ability to, from Outlook homepage, click Share to Teams. I don't have that feature quite yet, but by the time you're watching this video, maybe it's there. You can choose whether to include attachments or not and get this nicer sort of user interface um, than some of the methods I've shown you, but plenty of ways to do that. Again, Teams is something that you do stuff inside it without leaving it rather than a launch pad. So if I click on that, I'm actually in Excel now and I can edit cells as I wish and those will get saved in actual Excel. I could click open in desktop app for more functionality, but that is some way that you can just edit for quick edits directly in there in PowerPoint, Word or Excel. So I hope you liked that video about how Outlook and Teams kind of overlap. And if you did, then give me the like button. And if you want more content like this about PowerPoint, Excel, Power BI, Teams, Zoom, etc., then feel free to give me the like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.